In this video, I'm going to show you a few advanced search techniques for using the importgenius.com database to find the shipment records that you're looking for. Uh, the first technique actually almost doesn't qualify as an advanced technique, but I include it here just because a lot of people don't notice uh, that you can change the date range on your search. So right here, you've got this calendar that's going to show you the starting date and the ending date of your search. Um, you can skip by a whole year for enterprise users who have the ability to go back further than one year um, by clicking up here at the top. So I can choose a year or just pick it by date and cycle through. So that's a nice technique. A lot of people don't notice that you can change the date range there of your search to try to hone in on a particular shipment or go further back in time to make sure you're looking at all the shipments available to you. Uh, the next technique that I'm going to show you is actually using search filters, which you click this little green button that a lot of people don't notice, and that adds a second filter. So I can say, okay, I want to find product shirts coming from a, either you know, let's say a particular foreign port coming out of Shanghai. And so now it's going to not just show me just shirts, but also only shirts coming out of the port of Shanghai. Very nice little technique to further refine the results. You see, I still got 6,400 results just from that. So I could add another search filter and say, and, right, find the actual name of the town that it's coming from or the consignee, right, the name of the importer. A lot of, a lot of ways you can use this. Um, now on the right here I can go and or and not so for example this might be useful I could say now I'm gonna find all the shirts that are not coming from Shanghai right um, or perhaps I want shirts but not t-shirts okay or shirts but not pants and that'll show me all shipments that have the word shirts but don't have the word pants. Uh, I could change this to or. So now it's going to show me all shirts, all shipments that have the word shorts or have the word pants. So that's how you use this uh, and or not on the left. Um, this part here contains exact phrase starts with. Um, it's probably one of the least used parts of our service. It can be useful in very specific instances um, where I want to have only the exact phrase shirts and don't show me anything else starts with shirts, end with shirts. I think most of these are fairly self-explanatory. It's worth playing around with those features um, and getting a feel for how they work. Now one of the common problems that people have in our database is uh, where they can't find a particular shipment that they're looking for. And they know it's got to be in there, but they just can't find it. Um, so there's a couple uh, advanced techniques that I like to use when I'm trying to help a customer with these. One of them would be to search for the company name. The consignee is the name of the importer in our system, of course. Uh, search for their company name in the consignee address field. So if you type in a name and it doesn't appear in the consignee field, it may sometimes appear in the consignee address field. Perhaps it got overlapped, you know, the data data input entry at, on the part of U.S. Customs or, heaven forbid, on our own on our own problem uh, here at Import Genius. So type in the name uh, of the consignee in the consignee address field and see what you come up with. A lot of times you'll find the result there. Same would go for shipper and shipper address. Another really important thing to do is to leave off terms like ink or limited. So for example, I'm going to search sky high unlimited, which is one of the results that I see right now. And if I type incorporated, I won't get this result right here. You're going to notice when I type that search, in fact, I don't get anything. If I type sky high ink, sky high unlimited ink, now I get 35 results. Um, but I may. But what, what I'm suggesting here is that you leave off ink altogether and just type sky high and limited because ink can be spelled in different ways or it could be left off. In this case, I actually got the same number of results. But again, that's just one of the techniques that I would try. Leave off terms like ink, limited, co, anything like that. Um, that's real generic. Road, street. These things can be spelled in many different ways. So I would just leave those off. Um, and uh, I think you'll get much better results by doing that. The next uh, advanced search technique that I'd want to show you is uh, actually called, it actually uses the asterisks. You'll see here, search add asterisk star at the end of words to include more results. Uh, let me show you how that works. So if I type the word basketball and I hit search, I'm getting 1,492 results. If I type basketball with an asterisk, now it's also going to include the word basketballs 
And so I've just added 300 results to my search. Uh, those 300 results presumably had the word basketballs instead of basketball. Same thing as far, you know, as far as we're concerned, I doubt anyone imported one basketball. They probably all imported basketballs. Um, so that's how I use the star. It's for plural terms or um, it can also be used, for example, Cal star is going to show me everything with the word California um, as well as other ter words that start with the word C-A-L. So that's how the asterisk works. I think you're going to find that to be useful in certain instances. Uh, I, you don't need to worry about it in most cases, but every now and then it can be really useful. Um, the next one that I'll show you, the next advanced search technique, is actually a, a little trick for um, finding companies that are sort of hidden behind layers of, um, of freight forwarders. So we'll do a search for the word shirts and take a look here. The CV International Incorporated looks like a freight forwarding company to me. And so if you see a shipment that's hidden behind a freight forwarder, like in this instance here, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and I've got re related BL. That's related bills of lading. And right here, I've got a house bill. So I click that, and here's the actual shipment there. right? So now I've, I've gone from what I had was two freight forwarders to now by clicking through, I see ju Jamila Apparel is the shipper out of Pakistan, and the real importer is Aon Enterprises LLC. And so those uh, that other master build that I started with is actually just a freight forwarder who's providing the service for these guys. Also very useful information, right? Understanding who the freight forwarder is that's working with a particular supplier and, and particular consignee. Um, so those are just a few techniques that I think are going to be really useful for you, uh, advanced search techniques, if you will. If you have any questions about these techniques or have you know data that you can't find or other would like to learn a little bit more about how to use our service, by all means, give us a call, 888-843-0272, or just email info at importgenius.com. We'd love to hook you up with an account manager who can do a little bit more training for you, show you how to use the data, and help you generate some reports with the, the actual shipments that you're looking for. Uh, so thank you very much for your time, and I hope to hear from you soon.